Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our second example of how to deal with an RC circuit. Again, it's not a very simple one. It has three branches. It's different from the first example that here one of the branches that contains a capacitor also contains a resistor. How to deal with that? Again, given that the initial voltage across the capacitor being, is being 10 volts and that they're asking for these three things, they want to know the voltage across the capacitor, they want to know the voltage across that branch, and they want to know the current through the capacitor. What we need to do here is first find the equivalent circuit. Since these two are two resistors in parallel, we can find the equivalent resistance of these two by taking the product over the sum. So we take the product, 36 times 18 divided by 36 plus 18. Let's see what we get. Grab a calculator. 36 times 18 divided by, that would be 54, that gives us 12 ohms. So first we're going to redraw the circuit with these two as a single resistor. And here we have the 24 ohm resistor there, and then we have the capacitor. So this is now the combined 12 ohm resistor of these two. And we still have the 24 ohm resistor there and still the one ferret capacitor. And now we can see that this is simply a series circuit. We can combine those two and find the total equivalent circuit where we have a single resistor and a single capacitor. This would now be 36 ohms for the equivalent resistance and one ferret for the capacitance. We can now find the time constant. Tau is equal to R times C, and of course that would be the equivalent resistance, and that gives us 36 ohms times 1 ferret, which is equal to 36 seconds. Hmm, that's a very long time constant, typically not found in most circuits, but that's okay, this is just a good example. Which means that the voltage now across the capacitor on this equivalent circuit, we can say that the voltage across capacitor as a function of time is equal to the initial voltage times e to the minus t over tau. And now that we also know what the initial voltage is and we know what tau is, this can be written as 10 volts times e to the minus t over 36 seconds. All right, so now we have the voltage across capacitor. How do we now find the voltage across this branch right here? Hmm, how do we do that? Well, we can go back to this circuit right here and realize that the voltage across this branch must be equal to the voltage across the two equivalent capacitance making up this branch and this branch because the voltage across this branch is equal to the voltage across that branch, which means that here this also gives us V sub B. I should make that a small V. There. All right, which means we now have a voltage divider. The voltage across B should be a portion of the voltage across the total resistance. We can now say that V sub B as a function of time is equal to, well, that would be 12 divided by the total resistance. So 12 divided by 12 plus 24 times V sub C as a function of time, which means that this is one third the 10 volts times e to the minus t over tau, which is 36 seconds. And of course, that would be 3.33 volts times e to the minus t over 36 seconds. And that would be the voltage across the branch. One more thing. We now need to find the current through the capacitor. Well, for that, how do we do that? Okay, there are different approaches, but the easiest approach would be to look at this equivalent circuit. We know the voltage across this resistor. We also know that the current through that resistor must equal the current through the capacitor. And therefore, we can use Ohm's law in this situation right here. We can say that using Ohm's law, that I through B, which must be equal to I through the capacitor because it's a single circuit right here, is equal to the voltage across B divided by the resistance of B, like that. And so this would be the voltage across B is equal to, 
well, right there, 3.33 volts times e to the minus t over tau, which is 36 seconds. And we divide that by the resistance of B, which is 12 ohms. So then we take 10 divided by 3 divided by 12 is 0 0.28. Round it off. So this becomes 0 0.28 amps. Because when we divide volts by resistance, by ohms, we get amps. So 0 0.28 amps times E to the minus T over 36 seconds. And this here would be the current through the capacitor. So that's how we do that. Again, we take the circuit. We then find the equivalent circuit down to the simplest form of the equivalent circuit with a single equivalent resistor and a single capacitor. We then use the equation that tau, the time constant, is the equivalent resistance times the capacitance to give us the time constant. We then find the voltage across the capacitor by taking the initial voltage times e to the minus t over tau. We find V sub b by doing the voltage divider, and I can be found by taking this equivalent circuit, realizing that the current is the same everywhere through the circuit, and find this, the current through the resistor, which is therefore also the current through the capacitor. And that's how it's done.